What's up guys, Sterlis there here, back with another video. First one in a really long time, sorry about that guys. Been doing some things here at, uh, you know, where I'm stationed with the army and uh, finally have some time to get back into recording. So, looking forward to doing that. Um, where we are right now, we're just in a little village that I found in this world that I streamed. Streamed some gameplay from this world, but that's it, haven't recorded any videos. So this will be the first video. Got a little uh, farm over here that I started with this neat fencing idea I came up with, sort of like the rest of the village. Um, but what we're going to do today, we're going to start a new project called Castle Siege. Basically, I want to build a giant castle. If you know me or you've watched my previous videos, I freaking love castles going back like seven years to some of my first videos. I tried to make something called the Citadel, and it was all right, but I'm looking forward to Castle Siege, and so I'm going to do it over in that direction. Uh, just for the next little while, I'll be gathering resources, things like that. Um, kind of talking so while I'm talking feel free to listen or skip ahead till we start building but um <clears throat> I got my little mine shaft down here nothing crazy um some things are different uh as you can see I've got glasses now um I don't have to wear them but you know it was one of those things where the doc's like going one two one two what's better and I was like man two's like a game changer and she's like yeah that's what you should be seeing all the time so she uh recommended that I get the glasses um, I can still fly without them, thankfully, although I do have pairs to fly with. Um, and so, uh, yeah, that's where I'm at with, with glasses now. So I kind of like to wear them. I can see it's kind of crazy. Um, other than that, let's see. If you're curious to where I'm at in the pipeline for this whole uh, army pilot thing, um, I finished my basic officer leadership course, Bullock. Um, and I did some follow-up training that took about three weeks here at uh, Rucker, so I finished all that. And um, I'm going to be what we call on hold, snowboarding, whatever you want to call it, uh, for like three months. Let's see, definitely into December, November, January, that's three, and I'll be lucky if I'm flying by, G by uh, February. So looking to do that there, um, but until then... Got a lot of time on my hands, so I'm looking forward to recording things like that. Um, I really think that's kind of all that uh, that's happened in the past. It's been about eight weeks since I was able to record. Um, I recorded eight weeks ago. Didn't get the video out. Wasn't really happy with it. Been working out a lot of kinks with my new setup here. Um, basically just figured out about five minutes ago how to get it to where I can listen to music, but you guys can't hear it. You can still hear me and the gameplay, and I can still hear the gameplay. So, uh, it's been neat trying to figure all that kind of stuff out. So, um, ooh, got Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Been, uh, playing that a lot with some buds. Um, I'd like to record and play for you guys. Uh, however, I don't have the equipment yet. I need an Elgato, like, streaming device. Um, and I'm looking at getting another monitor. I just don't really feel like doing it right now. And it's, I've been playing. And, you know, Call of Duty's kind of my game. Like, I've been in the past really pretty good with Call of Duty. However, I don't feel like this Call of Duty is necessarily my my game yet. I gotta get back into it. So until I can feel like I'm I'm able to provide some decent content, uh, I'm not gonna play. But we'll work on that. So maybe in the next month or so you'll see that. Um, but yeah guys, so I'm just gonna be grinding here, getting some resources and I'll get back with you guys when I feel I've got sufficient enough resources to start the first tower. All right, we did pretty good collecting uh, just stone. I think I'm gonna go with the uh, smelted like square stone. Um, so I gotta do that. Gotta set up some smelters, some furnaces, whatever they're called. Oops. And uh, get those rolling, and then we're gonna start cutting some wood. I've already been doing that, but I'm gonna show you guys a neat little way that I farm uh, logs, basically, and we'll see if you know what you think about it. So be right back. All right, got my furnaces going. Nothing fancy, but I've got about. 40 in each going, uh, 8 furnaces, so we're going to go to sleep right quick. Of course we can't do that. And then we're going to go and uh, look at my wood farming technique here. Um, also, I've got a donkey and a horse, so that's pretty good. I'll show you them in a second. Uh, they make things much more useful, as you can tell. I've got a lot of villagers in this village, but they don't have jobs yet, so I need to figure that out. But uh, anyways, here's the horse, pretty good horse. Uh, a lot of health, pretty fast, can jump decently. And then I've got my little donkey guy back here who I don't think he's got. Yeah, he doesn't have anything in his saddlebags. But um, love the addition of the horses and donkeys. I know I'm, like, super behind on that. 
but um, that's about it. So anyways, this is the, the farm that we've got going here. We've got pumpkins, watermelons, beets, potatoes, carrots, working on those, and then obviously wheat here. So I'm going to come back and farm this pretty soon and, and replant. But here we go, headed towards our little uh, wood farm here. Um, also, the addition of composters is pretty cool. really like that. Um, I think that's pretty neat. So, I actually just plant the trees in a row. So, I've still got a few that I'm waiting on, on growing here. Quite a few, actually. But, uh, you just plant them in a row like that. And then when it's time to harvest them, you hop up and you just go down the row and you, and you break them down. So, I'll show you guys that when they've grown. But for now, I'm going to go take care of shop around the village here and uh, just maintain. See you in a minute. Alright, so I'm thinking that if I make a gate for these villagers, I'll show you in a second, um, then they'll be able to get out and can, because right now all these villagers are chilling right here, but they don't have a way out and they don't have a job. So I'm thinking, oh shoot, come on, okay, nope. Okay, I don't really care. <laughs> it doesn't matter. But now that these guys can get out, right? Because they can operate gates. I think. Can you operate gates? Okay, well, we're going to see. So I'm hoping that they get out and then they get their like, jobs and do something useful. So I'll keep you updated. Alright, so as we all know, it's uh, November 7th, the uh, day that I'm recording this. And I'm really tempted to go and listen to Christmas music. Uh, I'm a super festive person and freaking love the holidays. And dang it, I just got a piece of stripped oak log. But anyways, love the holidays. And uh, usually I would start my, uh, my, my Christmas music listening to about now. Um, but that was when I was at West Point and needed the freaking morale boost. Here, I love my life. <laughs> I don't really need the morale boost, but I'm still really tempted. I'm listening to uh, Sirius XM right now, and that's that's uh, one of their stations, so <laughs> I don't know if I can hold out, guys. <laughs> All right, let's check on our uh, little villager party here. Uh, still four guys in here, so I don't think they've left. I mean, shoot, I might as well just leave this open. I'm pretty sure the animals can get out when I do that, but maybe not. Look, this guy making a break. Oh, well, the sheep is. There we go. Okay. So I don't know if they can open the gates, but uh, they can definitely get through. And this guy, like, he's got the little silver pouch, but I guess that means he doesn't have a job. I don't know. I'm trying to see where that goes. All right, we got one out, so that's good. Still no jobs on these guys. Got one guy with a job there. Pretty good trade, too. Okay. I think they might actually need more beds. I, I know I just took two from that house there. There's one in there. They might not need more beds. No, there's one in there. Okay, they shouldn't need more beds. There's plenty of beds in this village. I need to, like, do some more research on the mechanics. I know Ethos from Ethos Lab has done a lot and uh, worked with it, but I guess I need to figure it out. Um, anyways, this is where we're going to build the castle out in between this... Uh, like river here it runs alongside those trees and then there's another one that runs that way so we're going to kind of do it in this middle area here so i'm going to put my bed down we're going to go to sleep and we're going to get started on that and uh in the episode there so um just enjoy the sunset for a second let me as i block it um but anyways put this down and we'll uh get started Alright guys, I don't know if you've ever seen this way of clearing like large amounts of grass at once, but it's pretty effective. You just take a bucket of water and uh, drop it on the ground, and hopefully if there's not a water source too close by, it'll spread out in all uh, kind of eight directions like it should. It's giving me a lot of trouble right here, of course, where I try to freaking show you guys. But anyways, and it'll just kind of, there you go, knock out all the grass. So just clearing out some land right here so we can start leveling this off. I'm going to level this area out here and then uh, get started. Put the foundation, I think, right right there. Kind of is a good place. Oh, no. That's unfortunate. We're going to have to deal with that. Like, I don't know. Do, do I go over there? Do I initiate this? I don't want to. I really just want them to go away. 
I've been in this village for so long and I haven't seen any pillagers. But of course now, as I try to get started building, they show up and I don't want to start a raid. Oh, brother. Okay, they haven't bothered me yet and I'm literally, I'm pretty sure within like shooting range. So what happens? Everything's gonna be... Oh, shoot. Absolutely not the move. Dude, come on. See, this is why I need a castle. I didn't even know I needed a castle, but this is why I need a castle. Okay, so I think the best bet is to lock them down there. Yes, that's absolutely the best bet. So that's what I'm going to do. Oh, oh, no. Okay, okay. We're going to lock them down there. Come on, fam. Let's go. Actually, a pretty good idea. Okay. Right. That worked really well. That worked way better than expected. So we're just going to keep them down here while we uh, keep working. Good. Okay, clearly someone called a meeting that I was not informed of. And uh, we're discussing some very important things right now. Probably the fact that the village is about to be freaking raided. So, uh... <laughs> Anyways, keep talking about it, guys. Your freaking hero, yeah, me, go ahead, worship, has already taken care of the problem. So you guys just keep discussing it and maybe do something freaking useful around here. All right, I think at this point, it's more useful for me to, like, fill in as I go and add dirt than it is for me to clear out this giant patch right here. So that's going to be the plan, and we're going to go ahead and get started with the foundation of this world. So I'm not exactly sure... With the design I want is going to be, but I do know kind of the general basics, and it's going to be predominantly a, oh man, I think a wooden tower is what I'm going for, so we're going to split that off and split it off again, and then do that, that, I kind of want to keep that, and that, so we should know. Basically, and I, I want this one, let's see, okay, so it's going to be 8 by 8 by 8, so, uh, start here, 1, okay, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, so that's basically one side, and it's going to be a circle, so let me think about this, I'll be right back. Alright, pretty much got it figured out, so I was real close, <laughs> just not there. So, four across right here, and then switch that back. There we go. Was that four? I uh, like that. And then four across. And this should be boom, boom. Okay, so that's generally the idea, and I'm going to have to incorporate some stone in there somehow. Not too, too sure. Actually, I think I am. So I think if I can replace these two inners with the log here, and then right here do stone, I think that'll look pretty good. Okay, I'm going to build it up a little. All right, guys, so here's the, the entrance side that I'm looking at so far. Um, maybe a little too intricate, not sure. I kind of like having the, um, what do you want to call cuts and fills in the sides of the building. Gives it some more depth instead of just being like a plain tower straight up. Uh, but basically I wanted the entrance kind of facing towards the village. I'm going to kind of create a trodden path that way, kind of like you see in the villages. Um, and then have an arch going this way to another tower and, uh, we'll go from there. But... First, got to finish the base of this tower here, so that's probably what we're going to do this episode, finish the base of this tower, and then call it. So uh, I'll come back to you. Thanks, guys. All right, guys, so I just finished the, uh, the, the base of the tower here. So this is basically the first floor where you'd walk into here. So I kind of have this square shape on the inside, which I think is more beneficial in the long run. Um, we've got the four windows here. Uh, there will be some sort of you know staircase or something uh, hopefully spiral, probably do a spiral up the center here that goes up to the second story here. Um, as you can see, I kind of put this layer of 
hardwood on the on the interior there. So the design has changed a bit. It could change some more as I go up with the tower. The idea is that that indention is there to signify like the second layer, and then it protrudes back out with the um, wood and the stone as we go up. But there's always going to be that kind of ring indention going around the base of the tower here and on each floor. So we'll see how that looks. I might continue the stone all the way up. Um, and just leave the indention for the, the wood here. I don't know. I'm going to go with what looks best. So we got some work to do there. But other than that, guys, this kind of concludes today's video. We got it started on this base. Next time I come back, I'll either have some more done because I played in my free time or I'll be recording when I do some more. I got to render and edit this video tonight, so that's what I'll be doing. Um, some other content I can put out. I can put out World of Warcraft videos. I've been playing that recently. Like I said, I'm going to try to get caught out. And uh, those are really my three games. Maybe some Overwatch, if anyone's interested in that. The four games that I play most, Overwatch, WoW, Minecraft, and COD. So let me know. Thanks for watching, though, you guys. If you have any ideas for the castle here, let me know. Or any suggestions, I appreciate it. So thanks for watching, guys. It's been Sterlis there. See you guys later. Bye.